extra minutes. All right, let's have a look. There's a lot of mysteries in this place, but none bigger than the mystery we're going to look at now. In the South Australian Police Museum, this death mask of the unknown man cast by police 65 years ago is the only tangible link Rachel has with her past. It's the first time Roma has seen this image of the man who looks uncannily like her husband. Do you girls feel like you recognise this man? I do. You do? Definitely. He certainly looks like my former husband, Rachel's father. Right now, do you think for sure that this man is your grandfather? I do. I think the evidence is there and it points without a doubt that that's my grandfather. So why do you really want to know this? Um, what difference does it make now? I for think the it's world important for Rachel. Lifetime? It's important for Rachel and her descendants that they know where they've come from and that the Sumter man has a name and we know about him and that will happen through the DNA. Is this as important to you as it is to your mum? I mean, um, does it not dilute as it goes down the generations? I would say for me that it's possibly more important um, in that I'm obviously my father's daughter, so um, the Summerton man is possibly my grandfather. And it's sad for, there must be other people that knew him, um, friends, and there must be other, well, must be other family as well. And they deserve to know what happened to him as well. I think if he's exhumed and we get his DNA, that will lead us in different, to a direction at least. Whereas if he just stays there unknown, then it just leaves all these questions in the air. Now the argument against, or the legal argument, or the government argument against exhuming the body is it's of no public interest. But it's hugely, Mm. interesting to the public, I it's would think. It's quite a famous case, which I realise mm. now. Mm. And I think, as we say, the main thing is that descendants of the Sumter man are identified and they know their history. So Robin now, were he here, would, mm. do you think, favour further investigation? I think he would probably like to know who his father was. Yeah, mm. definitely. Yeah. In the end, he would. And he probably, because you want this, would probably have wanted it for you. That's what I would hope. I, would, I, um, I agree with my mum. Okay. That I think um, he would want to know. If he's exhumed, and if the connection is proven, um, how would you bury him again? Probably, hopefully. That would be the aim, definitely. But maybe still not with a name. May have to do that, but our hope in, in um, exhuming him would be to, to be able to lay him to rest with a name. Now, if the, the Attorney General denies this, will yet another generation of your family, your kids, grow up wanting to know the secret to this extraordinary mystery? I would predict, predict the answer and say absolutely. Mm. That, that will continue until it's put to rest mm -hmm. and we have the answers. So you'll never give up? No, never. The truth is powerful. No matter how long it takes yes. to determine it. Yes. I think it's a, it's, um, a mystery that's worth uh, sinking out until we have the answer to it.